Hey everybody, welcome to Monday. Welcome to Eighth Hour. Hopefully you've had a good day. Let's uh, let's start our week in English by starting in prayer, the prayer from St. Thomas More. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, give us a humble, quiet, peaceable, patient, tender, and charitable mind, and in all our thoughts, words, and deeds, a taste of your Holy Spirit. Give us, Lord, a lively faith, a firm hope, a fervent charity, a love of you. Take from us all lukewarmness and meditation, don't listen prayer. Give us fervor and delight in thinking of you and your grace, your tender compassion towards us. The things that we pray for, good Lord, give us the grace to labor for, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So hopefully, students, uh, the sub should have told you that you need to open up your homework doc from Schoology. And if you were to look at Schoology, you will notice that there is a link under today for the Lord of the Flies standard paper and a link to a article called How to Build a Birdhouse, which is a 23-page long document, which is a step-by-step -step guide to how to write a paper for this class. Uh, we're not going to talk about the How to Build a Birdhouse too much today, but we are going to go over the standard paper, what the expectations and the due dates are, and today you're going to be looking through the text and you're going to be getting passages that you are going to use as research, as your support, as your evidence for your paper. That's what you're going to be doing for most of the time today. So let us read together this English 10 critical analysis paper, Lord of the Flies. You have, we have discussed the role of allegory in literature and its specific role in Lord of the Flies. Now it is your turn to discuss allegory. In a well-written, uh, in a well-written, uh, double-spaced, three-page paper, uh, it should be two, full two to three-page paper. Sorry, this is kind of nonsense. Uh, minimum 750 words. Respond to the following plot prompt: How is biblical allegory used in *Lord of the Flies*? Identify the symbolic personifications or abstract representations used by William Golding, the author. What universal ideas does Golding demonstrate through his use of the Bible and his allegorical representations of it? So when we talk about universal ideas, that means, you know, those things called, you know, these ideas of archetypes, kind of primal symbols, things like that. But if you look to the bottom, I give a long description of the idea of universal ideas, and that should make it easier to find these ideas, you know, these universal ideas that are present in the text, you know rediscusses universal ideas, etc. In order to correctly address the prompt, you will need to consult the Bible for specific passages and connect them to the primary text. That means the Lord of the Flies. But remember, your paper should be a literary analysis, not a biblical analysis. The Bible should be used to support your main points about the text, not by, vice versa. You should use the Bible to interpret Lord of the Flies, not Lord of the Flies to interpret the Bible. Your support must come from specific references and paraphrases from the text. Direct quotes are always a good thing, just make sure you use them correctly. In addition to the Bible, students must use at least two scholarly sources to help support their points. Uh, the handouts Mr. Tui has provided are all scholarly sources, but remember that using a reference does not mean one single throwaway quote. Remember that your paper should follow MLA format and will include a works cited page. We will spend a significant portion of our next week working on this essay in class, so bring whatever you need, your book, Bible, laptop, you know, for the rest of the of uh, course, all students must use either the Bible translation from the Ignatian Study Bible provided by the school or the biblical translation on usccb.org. Your first draft will be uploaded to turnitin.com by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, October the 4th. Uh, in order to turn it in on turnitin.com, the class ID for the class is here, 26694504, and the password is we want more, no spaces, capital M, more. The first draft is a completion grade. To get full credit, students need to have met the word count requirement, 750 words, include a proper works cited page with at least four sources, and have an appropriate thesis and conclusion. Remember, two of those sources are the Bible and the source text, Lord of the Flies. Uh, so that is your assignment. And because we are going to be working at this, you're going to at least have more than half the class to work on the paper this whole week. Uh, so keep bringing your laptops for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the week. And what you're going to be doing today is I want you to be finding quotes, whether it be from the source text, from the handouts, etc. For tomorrow, your homework is to have a page for me, literally a whole page 
full of quotes that you might be able to use to discuss uh, the paper. So remember, since this is a biblical analysis quote, right, this is the kind of quotes you want to use, you know, whether it be from Coskrin is Lord of the Flies Calvinistic, whether you want to uh, use it from, shall we say, uh, the passages in the gospel where Jesus talks about the Lord of the Flies, whether you want to look at stuff from the temptation in the desert and then parallel that to things in the text between the beast talking to Simon, all of these different things, you are to be looking up quotes and support from the book and having that ready tomorrow, right? That is the main thing. That is what you have to do for the rest of the class period today. So you're basically just looking up sources and material stuff for you to use uh, on your paper. So I don't want to keep too much of your time because I know you want to get as much work as you can get done in class. Uh, so make sure that you get on to turnitin.com, get logged in so that you can be able to turn in your paper. Uh, and that is basically what I have for you today. So I'm going to let you keep working. Please make sure you respect the sub, make sure you diligently do your work for the rest of the period. And that means you too, Josh. Just kidding, you're probably already working. The point is, uh, Jesus loves you, so do I. Work well, and I will see you in person tomorrow.